The 21st century has been a great time for fans of martial arts cinema. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 martial arts movies of the century so far. For this list, we'll be looking at the very best martial arts action movies to come out since the year 2000. In many ways, we're in a golden age for the genre, and these movies are proof of that. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. You know it, you know it, the man of the moment. You feeling the pressure, I'm feeling at home. And I figure I'm winning, I'm taking the throne, and I'm saying no. Hey, you know, you know, you know it. Number 10, The Protector. <laughs> we'll talk about Tony Jaw's debut film shortly, but we're starting our list with the film that solidified the actor as one of the breakout martial arts stars of the new millennium. Ja stars as Kong, a young man whose family were once charged with guarding the war elephants of the King of Thailand. But when one of his tusks' charges is taken by a corrupt politician in bed with organized crime, Kong heads to the big city to bust heads and find his friend. This entry is full to the brim with incredible stunt work and bone-breaking action, with Ja's mastery of Muay Thai on full display. <laughs> Number 9, Ong Bak, the Thai Warrior. Ah! Tony Ja leaped onto the martial arts scene with this 2003 flick, delivering a flying elbow to the cranium of the entire martial arts genre. Ah! Ja once again plays a man on a mission, a villager on the hunt for the stolen head of an ancient Buddha statue. His fight takes him into the Bangkok underworld, where his ferocious Muay Thai skills are unleashed. This entry brought Muay Thai and other Southeast Asian martial arts to the forefront of martial arts cinema, which had previously been dominated by films and styles from China. The film's prequel doubled down on this, exploring the style even further. <laughs> Number 8, Kung Fu Hustle. Writer, director, actor Stephen Chow may not be the first filmmaker to mix Kung Fu and comedy, but he's indisputably one of the subgenre's finest talents. Building on the success of Shaolin Soccer and a deep back catalog of kung fu comedy hits, Chow's 2004 film sees him as a wannabe gangster who becomes caught in the middle of a war between a local gang and the residents of a rundown apartment block, which turns out to be owned by a retired pair of bona fide martial arts badasses. <laughs> The film liberally mixes martial arts with special effects, leading to an end result that's equal parts Crouching Tiger and Bugs Bunny. Number 7, Fearless. At the time of its release, this period action epic was touted as the final such film for martial arts legend Jet Li. Li plays Huo Yun Jia, a legendary figure within Chinese martial arts, who fought and defeated several foreign fighters in publicized matches in the early 1900s. This was seen as a great victory for Chinese national pride, and Li's portrayal of Wen Jia certainly plays to his legacy as a source of Chinese patriotism. Under the direction of accomplished martial arts director Ronnie Yu, 
Lee reminds viewers with almost every precise movement why he'll be remembered as one of the all-time greats of his genre. Number six, House of Flying Daggers. In the early to mid-2000s, period martial arts films with an emphasis on operatic grandeur and style were all the rage. And this entry from director Jung Yi Mo is definitely emblematic of that. The story follows a police officer on the trail of the titular rebel group who are fighting against the corrupt government. In his search, he meets May, a blind dancer who may be a member of the Flying Daggers. But his loyalties are tested when his affection for May begins to outweigh his sense of duty. A beautiful and haunting film that also features incredible fight choreography. This entry is equal parts action and tragic fable of love and duty. <laughs> Number five, Flashpoint. While period films are a huge part of martial arts cinema, we'd be remiss if we didn't make some room for contemporary crime dramas like this 2007 entry starring the one and only Donnie Yen. Yen plays a cop on the trail of a trio of Vietnamese gangsters, a chase that culminates in a knockdown, drag out brawl between Yen and co star Colin Chow. Oh. Don't get us wrong, the rest of the movie is great, but this final showdown has to be one of the most intense, brutal, brilliantly choreographed fight scenes of the last few decades. That alone should get you excited to see this one if you haven't already. Number four, Hero. Getting back to period films, this entry unites our old friends Jet Li and Jung Yu Mo for another sweeping martial arts epic. The story unfolds Rashomon style, with Li's nameless swordsman and the future emperor of China giving conflicting retellings of Li's victory over three assassins. Li claims his quest is only to protect the emperor, who instead suspects treachery is afoot. Much like our last Jung Yi Mo entry, this one contains some of the most beautiful, elegantly choreographed and performed action scenes out there. <laughs> Unfolding more like elegant, emotionally charged dances than the brutal showdowns of some of the other movies on our list, the fights in this entry are some of the most captivating out there. Number three, Ip Man. Perhaps the most celebrated and enduring role of Donnie Yen's career, the Ip Man franchise is a staple of modern martial arts movies, and it all began here. Yen plays the titular Ip Man, a revered figure within the martial arts community who mastered the Wing Chun style of martial arts. In his first outing as Master Ip, Yen fights against the Japanese occupation of China in the 1930s, even facing down 10 black belts in one iconic scene. We'd be remiss if we didn't also mention the numerous sequels, which continue to tell the story of Ip Man's life and accomplishments. However, the original is still number one with us. Number two. 
Number two, The Raid Redemption. Few films have come along and hit the martial arts genre quite as hard as this one did when it exploded onto the scene in 2011, instantly catapulting Iko Weiss to stardom and setting a new bar for gritty, brutal martial arts action. When a raid on a Jakarta apartment complex run by a local drug lord goes horribly wrong, a SWAT team suddenly finds themselves attacked on all sides. And the only way out involves a whole lot of people getting really badly hurt. The action in this entry is beyond brutal and definitely not for the faint of heart. But for fans of no-holds-barred action mayhem, accept no substitute. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Chocolate, for the badass female lead. <laughs> the final master, for the incredible ending fight scene. Ninja, Shadow of a Tear, for being an awesome 80s throwback. <laughs> SPL2, A Time for Consequences, for Tony Ja versus Max Jung. <laughs> Kung Fu Killer for terrific stunt work. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon iconic martial arts epic swept the world in 2000, setting the tone for martial arts films to come in the new millennium. As much a tribute to wuxia martial arts films of old as a bold new entry in the genre, the film sees two famed warriors caught in a web of intrigue and deception after the theft of the Green Destiny, a fabled sword. <laughs> The visuals of this film need no introduction, as the tightly choreographed fight sequences and wirework chase scenes have become ingrained not just in martial arts cinema, but in cinema as a whole. If you watch just one martial arts film from the last two decades, make it this one. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Big C. TMF. Let's get it done. Hey, the kid is unstoppable. I say on top of you. I make impossible. Do like it's fossil fuel. You see the absolute.